What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv Video Audio Stuff, and have you ever wondered what the knee function does in your Sony Picture Profile menus? And if so, whether it can be used to improve image quality? Well, I have, and that's what I want to look at in this video. It's time for me to shut up and roll that intro. <laughs> As ever, links to everything mentioned in this video will be in the description box below. And of course, this is not sponsored content, so it would really mean a lot to me if you could show some love for the channel and hit the notification bell next to your subscribe button. It's a huge help, and I thank you kindly. So you may have seen in the Sony picture profile menus, there's a parameter called knee and wonder what it does. It's not obvious at all, but this function controls highlight roll off, which is why I wish Sony had just called it highlight roll off or just roll off. Within the knee settings you can control knee and slope. Let's go over what these do. So let's start by looking at our exposure and here you can see from zero in your shadows all the way up to 100 which is your highlights and then of course we have our linear gamma curve. The knee point is the percentage in which you want to start affecting your highlights. 90% would be here, 75% would be here and so on. I'm going to stick with 75% just for this example. So now onto slope and this determines the angle in which your highlights will start to roll off. A negative slope looks like this and it will force your highlights to roll off. And then with a positive slope it'll look like this and your highlights will roll off less like this. Don't worry, I will show you the effect this has on your footage with some real world clips that's coming up in a bit. So to try and put things simply, knee is the point at which your gamma curve starts rolling off your highlights. When I say rolling off, I mean incrementally trying to cram more and more information into that last brightest part of your gamma curve. Slope is the degree that it rolls off your highlights. A negative slope will roll off more aggressively than a positive slope. Let me just make this clear at this point. Changing the knee setting doesn't extend your dynamic range. It's just about deciding at what point you want your highlights to start compressing and by how much. So here's our first example and this was shot in Cine 4 and you can see I've got the knee at 80% and slope at zero. It looks pretty nice and balanced. You can see the highlights in the waveform. It is rolling off quite nicely. However, when we step down to slope at minus five, you can see this has a huge impact on the highlights in our footage. Looking at the waveform and the minus five slope has done exactly what it's meant to do. It's aggressively chopped off those highlights. This is definitely not the best practice of using slope at minus five. And if you do want that aggressive roll off, you're better off setting it to a much higher knee percentage. And then we have slope at plus five and you can see this has made a huge difference again. There's really very little roll off in our highlights and you can see this in our waveform. It's probably best to look at these three examples of slope at minus five, zero and plus five when we look at them side by side. When we do, we can see what a massive difference it makes. Just look at how much you can see of the branch in the background. It's very clear on the plus five example and minus five, it's almost disappeared. The differences are illustrated brilliantly when we look at the waveform side by side. The difference between minus five and plus five is huge as you can see. And slope zero just looks like a happy medium. It's worth remembering that with S-Log2 and S-Log3 formats, they don't have any kind of highlight roll off. The roll off comes when you add your lookup table and the same goes for raw footage. So I can't tell you the best settings for the way that you film but I can give you some tips. And the main one is to turn off auto knee. If you leave it on auto, it's like having auto ISO for your highlights. So if you're moving in and out of different scenes, say your camera's on a gimbal or something like that, it will constantly be messing with the highlights in your shot. I don't wanna say that auto knee is necessarily wrong. It could suit the way that you shoot, but for me, I value that control. So if you want to introduce a slightly different knee into your profile, you have to first know at what point the gamma will clip or what its total output is. For example, Cine 1 outputs at 109%, whereas Cine 2 outputs at 100%. You can find all the information about the different gammas on Sony's website. I'll link to the page in the description box below just to help you out. The point is, of course, you'll have to set your knee at a lower percentage than your profile's output. For example, Cine 2, which outputs at 100%, you wouldn't want to set it any higher than that, otherwise you would notice no difference at all. For profiles that output at a higher level, like Cine 1, which outputs at 109%, you might want to go for a knee at around 80%. S-Cinetone, as an example, has a knee at 70%, so that might be a good profile to emulate. Something else I would say is to be really gentle with that slope control. 
too far towards that plus or minus five and you start to get really extreme results. I found the highlights at minus five to be really odd looking, quite sort of flat and gray, whereas the ones at plus five ended up looking kind of white hot and basically with no roll off at all. So with all of this in mind, let me show you some real world examples of the extremes of using knee and slope to see what effect it has. So at this point, I want to look at skin tones because skin tones that have been clipped and are overexposed are horrible. I would say people are more likely to notice when skin tones are overexposed. So I wanna see if I can take an intentionally overexposed shot like this and then use knee and slope to try and save some of that highlight detail. As you can see, this was shot in Cine 1, so our total output is 109%. Our knee is at 85 and slope at minus 5, and it is looking rough. Look how little detail there is all over my forehead and the side of my face. The real test here is whether I can do some grading tweaks and improve our image. And nope, I absolutely couldn't. It still looks horrible. Next, keeping the knee at 85 but going to a slope of plus 5, we see that familiar white hot look you get with a plus 5 slope. We can actually see more detail in this one, but it just looks so harsh, it's really hard to pick which one I would actually go for. However, when I applied the same colour grading tweaks as I did before, I was pretty blown away with how good it looked. We've still got quite a bit of loss of detail here, but I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Of course, this issue can be avoided completely by just exposing correctly, but honestly, at this point, it's kind of hard for me to recommend setting a minus slope at all. I mean, just look at these two side by side. That strange plasticky grey look that you get with the minus slope, compared to the plus five clip, which, I mean, would you even know it was overexposed to begin with? By the time it had been rendered down, I suspect not. The last thing I wanted to try here was just to see if I could make things look a little bit smoother. So I dropped the knee down to 75% and I went for a, a very subtle slope of plus one. Straight out of camera, it's kind of hard to tell, so let's apply the same colour grading that I did before. And, hmm. It does have a nice soft quality to it, but I'm wondering if it looks better than our 85% plus 5 clip. Side by side, personally, I like the look of the plus 5 clip more, but that softness you get with the plus 1 clip is really nice. Next, I went out to do more testing, and I wanted to see if I set the knee at a fairly high point, in this case 90%, and I wanted to see if I could just catch the last little bit of highlight detail in the clouds. And just so you know, I have already brought our exposure down and I've done a few color grading tweaks. Here's the minus five, and then here's the plus five, and they look really similar. It's almost imperceivable, but there's a lot of lost detail on the minus five version again. Here they are side by side, and I bet you still can't tell any difference. But now let me show you the waveform and you'll see the highlights are being chopped off on the minus five version. So now it's time to gather up everything we've learned and try and draw some conclusions. And to recap, the knee is the percentage in which your highlights will start to be affected and the slope determines the amount in which your highlights will be altered. If your standard way of shooting is to use S-Log2 or 3, you don't really need to worry about this. However, I want to do some further testing using S-Log2 and 3 to see if I can use knee and slope to improve the image even further. Definitely let me know in the comments section below if you'd like to see that video. This is just my opinion, but I preferred all of the clips where I used a plus slope. It just seemed to cling on to a little bit more dynamic range in those highlights. And I found that the minus slopes gave me the exact opposite effect. Yes, it gave me a really soft look but ended up looking slightly plasticky. When it comes down to it, using these linear gammas like Cine 1 and 2, you would still usually want to expose so that you protect the highlights. I know that on the custom banks that I've got using these linear gammas, I am going to be setting a subtle amount of plus slope. So there we go. My job here was not to tell you what's right or wrong when it comes to knee or slope, but to learn with you and hopefully we can use all this information to improve our footage together. Anyway, that's it for now. You can ask me questions about this in the comment section below if you want to. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I've got a large back catalogue of videos about videography on this channel of which YouTube has handpicked this video for you and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.